Minnie Mae Bailey died in this wreck. Her daughter Brenda was seriously injured. Driver of the truck, James Edward Wise, was charged with vehicular homicide. And later, inspections found that the truck had faulty brakes, and its owner, F.W. Stroop and Sons, was operating without a freight license because the insurance had lapsed. The Fulton County District Attorney's Office got the case. According to D.A. Lewis Slate and his office tried to work up a felony case so that it would go before the county grand jury. But the grounds for a felony just weren't there. State law allows felony prosecution for vehicular homicide if the person responsible is drunk, fleeing an officer, or is driving recklessly. Assistant D.A. Wayne Spiva said there was no way his office could prove any of these. We're bound to follow the law, and just like everyone else is. If the law says that it's a felony crime, then we go with the felony crime. If it says it's a misdemeanor, then we go back to the misdemeanor. Uh, that's where we stand. The law was passed. We didn't pass it. The legislature passed it, so, but we're bound by it. James Edward Wise, the driver of the truck, says he is a victim of circumstance. He contends the owner knew the truck's brakes were shot, but told Wise to drive or lose his job. Wise drove. Wise's court-appointed attorney, Paul Cobb, says that Stroop and Sons should be responsible for this tragedy, not his client. Even so, Cobb says Wise has been deeply affected by the accident. He, he told me privately that uh, he wished it were himself that were killed instead of the lady. He felt that bad about it. Uh, but, of course, there's nothing he can do about it now. If Wise is convicted as charged, he will serve a maximum of two years in prison and pay a $2,000 fine. Owner of the truck, F.W. Stroop, is guilty of operating a truck without a freight license. He would be served with a misdemeanor warrant if anyone knew where he was. Nine months ago, on this same stretch of the downtown connector, Brenda Bailey lay trapped in her crushed automobile. As a result, she lost her mother. She has struggled to survive her serious injuries and she has suffered the emotional anguish of drawn-out court proceedings, proceedings that she feels will result only in a slap on the wrist to the defendant. Her attorney is State House of Representatives Majority Leader Clarence Vaughn. I can understand her frustrations. Uh, she cannot understand our, our process and why uh, the individuals are, are not uh, are prosecuted to the limit. It's difficult to explain that to her, but those are the, uh, the ramifications of the law. It is likely that the driver of the truck will receive a short prison term and a small fine at worst, that the owner of the truck will remain untouched unless somebody can find him, and that the survivor will get nothing. This case has generated frustration and futility and reaches a painfully obvious conclusion. If there isn't a law against it, it's not against the law. From the downtown connector, Mark Picard, Action News.